Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. Let's get to it. There are lots of ways to get to your chart of accounts. I'll show you a few of them after I show you how to edit. I'm going to go to the gear in the upper right hand corner. I'm then going to go to the header called your company and down to chart of accounts. When I click on chart of accounts, I'm going to get my list of my chart of accounts. I can edit my chart of accounts by selecting each account individually, clicking the drop down to the right and then selecting edit. When I do this, the things that I can edit are the account name, which appears over on the left, the account number, which appears on the far left, the account type. For example, if I accidentally set up my line of credit as a bank, I can just change it to another current liability. Over to the right, I can select my detail type. The detail type does not matter. There are very few cases where it matters. Those only happen when you're trying to merge an account or change an account in a special way. You're probably never going to encounter a situation where the detail type matters. I can make this account a sub account of another account if I want. Um, when I make it a sub account, you can see a preview down below to say, here's how it's going to look when you make that a sub account. I can put in a description. I don't recommend putting in a description because you're never going to see this again unless you come to here and click on edit. So let's just say we'll make it checking 200 and then I'll click save. Other ways that I can change or modify my chart of accounts is I can click the pencil to the left of the printer. When I click on the pencil, I can quickly change my names. So maybe you checking 200 wasn't right. Maybe I really wanted this checking two. Maybe I wanted to make everything caps lock or maybe I want upper and lower case. This is a very nice way to change all that because I can make the changes and then I can select save. If I wanted to merge two accounts together, say that checking two and checking three needs to be merged together for some reason. I can click the drop down. I can click edit. I can change the name to be the name that I want. Click save. It's going to say you're about to merge. I say, yep, I want to merge. And then I click save again. I did use a checking as an example. I want to take just a moment and say, do not merge your checking account unless you absolutely know what you're doing. There is a very strong chance you're going to create a very expensive problem doing that. But a good example of things you might merge would be office supplies and office expense. You might look at that and say, these are so similar. I would like them to be in the same account. Another thing you can do is you can turn off an account. So PayPal right here, you might say this. I don't need this account. I don't know why it's here. It's bothering me to look at it. It feels overwhelming to have a long list. Click the drop down to the right of you register and then select make inactive it says, yep, I want to make it inactive. If you make something inactive and you wish that you did not, you can click on the little tiny gear. So not the big gear in the upper right, but the gear kind of next to the printer. Click on that. Say, hey, QuickBooks, show me the inactive accounts. It'll show you the inactive accounts and then you can just turn on whatever you want by clicking make active. So we'll make our test account active. And then I can stop displaying all my inactive accounts. And now my test account is active. I'm sure there are more things that I could show you, but that's a very brief rundown. Let me now show you a handful of ways to get to your chart of accounts. So that way you can see different ways in case you didn't like the gear. So going from the left hand side of your screen, the plus new button does not give you the chart of accounts. Plus new button is just, I want to take an action, right? Going to the chart of accounts is I want to go somewhere. Underneath that, you have bookmarks. You can click on the pencil. I'm going to unselect it. You can search for chart of accounts. When you select it and click save, it'll appear in your bookmarks on the left. If you don't like that, you can go to transactions, 
chart of accounts. If you don't like that, you can go to the bank accounts on the right. When you do this, this little ribbon will appear across the top and you can click on chart of accounts. I want you to think of getting the chart of accounts like going to the store for Ben and Jerry's. You can go this way or that way or the other way, but at the end, you're at the store deciding which bucket of ice cream is the ideal bucket of ice cream. In this case, I don't care how you get to your chart of accounts, just if you need to get there, here's how you do it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If there's anything you wanna see me make an example of, let me know in the comments below. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to book time with me. I'm at gentlefrog.com. Thanks.